Okay, this video is mostly going to be me just sitting here talking to you because I really don't have much else to um, do um, for this video because it's mostly just information. Um, so one of the questions I'm getting is, if I lose my stars to a monster either in Wasteland, even in Forest, in uh, Eden, because you can lose stars to Dark Crabs and you can lose stars to Krill or Dark, dark Dragons, uh, can I get them back? And there are a couple of ways. Number one, if you see them come off of you and can get to them, you can recollect them right there. Um, you can collect stars for other people. So if you see somebody else get hit, even if you didn't get hit, but you can see their stars, you can go grab them and you will help them recollect them. Uh, we had a nice image the other day of me getting, getting a whole group hit by a krill. And uh, the stars went flying, but we all managed to, to run around and get them. Who knows who got whose, but I mean, you don't get theirs, but you can collect theirs for them. They will get them. Uh, so, but you can collect them right there. The only other way you can do it is to go back and find, if you lose them, and you'll get the chopping sound, the slicing sound if you actually lose them. You have to go back and find them in the world, and there is no indicator for where you lost them. So there is no indicator for how many stars you have in a level, anything like that. So you'd pretty much just have to go back and revisit everywhere. Now, if you only lost one or two, I wouldn't worry too much about it if you intend to go to Eden again. Um, it's just because one or two isn't gonna make that big a difference. But if you find that you've lost a bunch, then it should be pretty easy to find where, where you can get them. You'd have to go back to every level though and see, they'll just reappear right where you found them in the first place, you know, right in the same places, they'll just be there. Um, so that's how you recollect them. So the rest of this video is about Eden specifically. So if you have not done Eden and don't want spoilers, then stop the video now because there are spoilers coming up right now. If I lose all my wings in Eden and die, do I lose my cosmetics or friend actions too? No. The only thing you lose in Eden is stars. That you drop stars, add all those statues, and then of course you, when you die, you have lost all of your stars. So all of your stars go away, that's the only thing. But everything else you've collected is there still. Friends are there, friend actions are there, wing buffs are there um everything is still there now i'll get to this in wing buffs if you have bought wing buffs you will still lose all of your stars in eden you will regain those wing buffs afterwards so you lose all stars period and die that is how it goes that uh, that's eden um but everything will be regained and of course you just have to go back through the world and recollect the stars so that that's the replay that's the replay of the game that's rebirth uh, that's the idea is that the more times you do this the more children you're the more light you're returning to the constellations the more light you're returning to the sky so it's kind of just keep on going through this and keep on going through this and um it, making friends spending time with friends all of that along the way um building relationships and and that really it does work so um but so you know the other question is is the point of eden to die can i be eden no the point of eden is to die yes um there there is no surviving now long ago in the beta the point was to survive the point was to carry the um spirits through as many as you could that's how you upgraded your emotes through various through taking spirits safely through eden they changed that the point now is to die that the only way you can be reborn is to die if you don't die you can't be reborn in your in your in your game is locked brings me to that a lot of people are having issue with the game the portals being dark the game being dark no constellation table only eden you have to finish eden if you've dropped even one star in the last part of eden you have to finish eden you have to die um, so if you only had one star to drop because all your statues were dark, then you've got to die and lose all your rest of your stars. Eden resets. The statues in Eden have a reset, so they're there for a week. Once you've dropped a star at a statue, that statue is going to disappear. So the next time you're in Eden, that week will not be there. So you can only go to Eden a couple few times before it's empty and there's nothing for you to do there. Um, storm resets every week at 
midnight between Saturday and Sunday. So Sunday, it's a fresh day, fresh week. Saturday is the end of the week. Midnight Pacific, Pacific Coast time in the USA. That's Los Angeles time or Seattle time or Portland, Oregon time. Um, so there's a reset. So until you hit that reset, you're gonna have an emptier and emptier last part of storm. Um, just to be clear, so if you don't wanna go too often, otherwise you're just gonna lose stars for no reason. Also means that if, if, you, only, if you know you've been through a couple of times, just have a couple more statues to hit, you don't have to collect a whole bunch of stars. Uh, so that's how, that's how that works. Um, I don't want to do Eden, I don't want to lose my winged flight. You can get your winged flight back. In fact, doing Eden helps you build up your winged flight. Um, I know it's hard, it, it, it's a brutal level, um, and, and I'm sure a lot of you who are hesitant to do it have heard about it and don't, um, don't want to fear and fear it, but um, I would say do it once. Just do it once, find friends, do it once, and then, um, you know, then make a decision. But do it at least once. You should get through it, see what the end is all about and all that before you really... Um, if you're not interested in collecting everything under the sun in the game, you never really have to do Eden. But I would suggest you do it at least once. How do the ascended candles work? Why do statues disappear and how can I, and how many can I get? Okay, the statues disappear, like I said, because um, you've, you've been through Eden again before it resets. So fewer and fewer statues every time you go through. How many ascended candles can you get? Uh, I've heard of people getting 10, 11, 12 on, a, on one run. I think, I, I feel like you can get more if you're with people just because there's more people to run around and um, keep regrouping and stuff. So it, it does work a little better in big groups. If you're not in a big group though, you, it's perfectly doable solo. It's a little scarier probably, but it is perfectly doable in smaller groups or solo. So the, ascended, the number of ascended, ascended candles you can get. The number of ascended candles you can get in a week, like in repeated runs through before the reset, I heard somebody say 16 to 18 in a week, and that's with hitting every single one of the statues. Somebody was saying about five stars per candle, um, I think. It used to be 10, but it seems like it's, it's doubled. So that's about how many you can get. Um, I can't seem to finish Eden, and I've seen this a number of times. There, there might be some bugginess here. Um, you, sh you need to die, so that's the main thing. You need to die in Eden. So um, if you, if if you noped out of it, saying no, I don't want to die, then you need to go back and die. Um, you just need to go back into Eden. If your only your Eden door is open, once you have dropped even one star in that last area of Eden you're locked in there you have to finish it so the rest of your game will be inoperative you have to finish it so but if you if you're in a bug if you if you can't die and you can't any of that then contact that game company because that's a bug okay so this brings to the how do i get more wedges of cape power and perhaps i should have mentioned that in the other video too um because that is a question. The way you get more wedges of cape power is, is by finishing Eden. And so when you finish Eden, you get the ascended candles. And with the ascended candles, you buy the wing buffs. The wing buffs are these here. Each of these is a wing buff. So the ascended candle not only unlocks the rest of the map, it also gives you a wing buff. If you buy the wing buff here, right here where I am now, it will be good on the next, after your next run of storm. If you buy the wing buffs immediately after storm in orbit, so there's a little constellation table in orbit. If you buy the wing buff there, you will get it right then. What that means is you will collect that many stars for your next playthrough. So you'll start with one, two, or two, three, four wedges of Cape Power depending on how many wing buffs you've purchased. So it just lets your rebirth start higher rather than um, starting at one. But it doesn't, let, it doesn't mean you don't die in storm. You still die, you still lose everything, but then you get to regain it there in orbit in order to not start your rebirth in, at one. 
Now, I've heard, I think you can start with as many as, actually it's probably even higher than that, four or five uh, cake wedges, which is very comfortable, um, right, in your, right, right at rebirth. So without, without having collected any stars. Hunt, over 100 stars is possible now. So a lot of people, I'm really scared of, storm, of Wasteland and Eden, and I don't blame you. Um, wasteland gets easier. There's definitely ways around. Uh, the krill, you just need to watch them, um, understand where they go, where they're coming and going, and then just, just go. If you fly high enough above them, they don't see you. Uh, Eden, the first parts of it are very um, predictable, so you can definitely time it. They're, it's easy to strategize if you just patiently wait. Wind, rocks, everything has has patterns. Um, krill have patterns. Uh, so you just have to be patient and watch. Um, the last part of Eden is difficult to strategize. You can to a point with, if you're with people, but for the most part, it, it becomes just run and um, get as many statues as you can. But uh, I would really suggest you do it at least once. Um, both wasteland you need to do. Eden, do it at least once just to, to see how it goes. And uh, like I said, dying is part of it. So no shame in that. No feeling like you lost the game because you didn't. There is no surviving. Surviving is, in fact, breaks your game. <laughs> um, I have survived it before, and it's like, no, <laughs> I want to be able to play again. <laughs> so you don't, yes, there's no, there's no um, shame in dying because that is the point of the game. So good luck. If there are more questions, please ask. Um, I have other videos. I have walkthrough videos. I have streamed videos of, of trips through Eden. And uh, that just shows how to kind of go about it. Okay, good luck.